Okay, okay. Today we're going to talk about Stop Motion Studio. Before we can get there, just go ahead and subscribe for me. Can you do that? All right, let's dive in. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go to your app store, either on iOS or the Google Play Store, search for Stop Motion, and the app itself is called Stop Motion Studio. It has this camera with this blue background. And that's the one. Okay, so after you've downloaded the app, you're going to open it. This takes you to this little animation, press get started, and then we're ready to rock. All right, so this very first screen when you open the app takes you to any movies that you've created, and there's also one sample movie. So if you press plus, that's just going to create a brand new movie. Hey, it's asking access for your camera. You need to give it access. And this is the screen that we see. So on the right, we have a camera icon. What that's going to do, that's actually going to be how we take pictures. So it's going to be capturing the frames. We've got a help, a little question mark button, play button. So what we're going to do right off the bat is press the camera. You'll notice things shift around. All right, so we're going to talk from the very top right of the screen. Uh, if I press that arrow, that is what takes me back. The little clock right below it is my timer but what you could do is say all right i want to set it to every i don't know 30 seconds every 20 seconds um, i typically never use the timer i would like to manually press the button when i want to the big red button is how you capture frames how you take a picture right below it we can press play and that's going to play through our animation we've got a couple different things that are locked i think you need to unlock the full version you can have a rear facing camera front camera um, play with the uh, manual focus, all these exposure settings. I'm just going to leave everything by default. And at the very bottom, we have um, a number slash a number. That's just what frame you are on out of how many frames you have total. And on the left hand side, this is the onion skinning. So if you're familiar with that in animation, that just allows me to look at the frame that I'm on, change the transparency, and then line everything back up. So in this video behind me, I've got a piece of paper. I'm drawing a simple line and I have a ball and I'm going to make the ball bounce across this line. And what I do before I capture each frame is I play with that onion skinning. I'm so that number at the top, I set to one, but you can change that to three or five. And that's just how many um, frames that you can look forward and back. But I can scrub that up and down. And then it's just a game of let me line up as close as I can what I'm trying to do to my previous image. That way my camera is not shaking around like crazy. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm lining up each shot roughly. Uh, it doesn't really matter too much for this example, but I'm lining up that baseline with where it needs to be. And then I will snap a picture, that big red button. I place my phone down and then I will erase and go ahead and draw another one. Draw my next frame, pick up the phone, line it up again, take a new frame. So that's what's going on here. I chose to do this little 2D animation just to show you guys that you can do that. If you're like a really great artist, even a decent artist, you could use this approach. Um, digitally, obviously, is going to be easier. If you have software where you can just 2D animate and you know how to do that, go for it. If you like pencil and paper, this could be an approach for you. Obviously, if you use a stand or something to hold your phone, maybe it's a stack of books, and the phone is just leaned over the edge uh, to where it's not in the frame, that's gonna be better than holding it. And then you don't really have to worry about all this adjustment. And obviously everything that I showed you in this little demonstration can be done just with real stop motion animation. So whether it's like, uh, I could use a Play-Doh ball and do this exact same thing on the table and just have it bounce around or have a little toy walk across the table. Same concepts, but I think you guys get the point. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this very introductory introduction to Stop Motion Studio. If you like what you saw, please subscribe. I will catch you next time.